Hey everyone, it's Retro Looker, and today is The Last of Us Part 2 Day. Now, I'm going to be unboxing this PS4 Pro Last of Us 2 Special Edition. I am very, very excited. If you haven't yet seen my Collector's Edition unboxing, make sure you go and check that out as well. We are going to jump right in and unbox this bad boy right now. So, as you can tell, I'm, I'm just, I'm, it's like my birthday. I'm very, very excited. I've had a lot of money spent on me. I've been spoilt rotten by my wife and myself. And, you know, she, she allowed me to buy all this stuff. And I, I really, really appreciate that. And just to be able to have the opportunity to be able to own these things is just uh, amazing to me. I didn't even need another PlayStation. We've got three in the house already. Uh, but this is going to be replacing my Pro um, at my YouTube setup. So I'm, I'm really happy with it. And uh, this was £349 from Game in the UK. You know, a regular PS4 Pro costs about the same. And, you know, it wasn't extortionate. So this is going to be replacing my PS4 Pro. I'm going to sell my other one, I'm going to sell the digital code that comes with the game, I'll probably make all my money back, so it's like it didn't cost me anything at all. So, I'm fully excited, I, I love the design, I love that it's embossed and not just like a sticker or whatever. Um, I love the controller, you could buy the controller separately as well, and for the price of that, I think that was like £55, that's a really good price for a PS4 controller. So let's jump right in and see what this thing looks like, shall we? So just looking at the box, on the front cover we've got the very iconic image of Ellie holding the rifle, um, the PS4 Pro itself with the beautiful design of Ellie's tattoo. We've got a little The Last of Us Part 2 down there, and the controller again with Ellie's tattoo and The Last of Us Part 2. This is the one trilobite model with the 4K HDR. I am fully looking forward to this. Right, so on the side, we have The Last of Us Part 2. And on the back, we have this very beautiful um, concept art. And there's Ellie stood, and we sort of see how small she is in this grand opening here. And on the side, we have Last of Us Part 2, the uh, PS4, the controller, and the game. So, let's jump right in and see what is going on in here. So, like I said, I'm very excited about this. And I've seen a couple of people, like I said, my postman brought this quite late. Most of my friends got theirs at 7, 8 o'clock this morning, so I'm a little annoyed about that. But a lot of my friends didn't get the PlayStation. And I was annoyed that I didn't get the uh, Death Stranding PS4 Pro they did, just because I couldn't afford it. Uh, but this one is, oh my god, it's so heavy. This one is definitely, I'm glad I waited out, because if I would have got the Death Stranding PS4 Pro, there's no way in hell I would have got this. So, come on. Oh god, there we go. And I love the box, I love the design. I almost want to just keep that out on its own. But well, I don't really have the space. So, beautiful box. Right, then we're into your sort of standard edition PS4 box. Just a plain white box. Gonna open that up. Okay. Okay, so straight away, we have The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, I don't know what edition this would be, the PlayStation 4 Pro edition, I guess, because it says not to be sold separately on the side. And I said in my previous one, I'm not a massive fan of this cover. It definitely highlights the theme of the game because it shows Ellie's anger, Ellie's anguish, and how she's feeling. I much prefer this image. It's a nicer image, but the game isn't about nice. It's about anger and hate. So that is the game that came free. And obviously I got the steel book in the collector's edition as well. So let's get this out of here. It's very heavy. Just got some cardboard protectors. There we go, and flip it over, 
Okay. Very special. Wow! Look at that. So, let me just clear some of this crap out of the way. So, this is the console itself, and it's a standard PS4 Pro. We know that much, but I've got another one. They're, they're very good. So, there's nothing I'm going to say about the performance or the general design of the PS4 Pro. We're literally here for the Last of Us elements. Now, we've got a nice, shiny PlayStation logo in the top right hand corner there on my other pro the logo is in the center they've moved it up to the top here the texture is very nice as well it's not just your standard black it's like a almost metallic gray beautiful ellie's tattoo is embossed or engraved into the, the cover there and you know you might argue well what's stopping me just getting a ps4 pro with the shell on top well they've also got very nice last of us part two on there as well and the whole thing is not black it's like gray it's very nice so i mean i absolutely love it i wouldn't you know there may have been some things they could have done about it that maybe a black console with like a sort of silky black tattoo on it they could have even uh, painted these inlays white you know anything would have been good I'm more than happy to receive a new PlayStation 4 Pro to replace my old one. So there's not too much I can say on it. I mean, you can see, you can see how beautiful it is. You know, you've got your little moth, the uh, the ferns there, and like I said, The Last of Us Part Two on the front. And interestingly, as well, it's got gloss black. In the little inlays there that's a nice touch as well i like that and obviously it comes with the game and if i sell that separately i can get money off what i paid because i got the steelbook in the um other edition so that is the console i'm just going to move that over slightly while we get out the controller Oh, I've opened it the wrong way as usual. There we go. I'm a massive idiot. Okay, so usual stuff in here. You got your crappy hands-free uh, headset. You got your HDMI. Nothing new there. PS4 plug. Controller charger. Nothing new there. What we're really interested in is the controller. So, wow, that is absolutely beautiful. And this is what I was saying about the, uh, the console is, so what they've done is they have a very nice, this sort of metallic gray looking, and it's not the same, like I have the uh, Days of Play PlayStation 4 upstairs as well, and it's not that same kind of gray. It's like a, a silk gray, maybe is the right word, rather than metallic. And it's a PlayStation 4 controller. You know, we don't need to talk about the design or ins and outs of the mechanics of a PlayStation 4 controller. We're literally here for the aesthetics, and it is the Last of Us controller. And I really like this design. It's very simple. It's very beautiful. We have Ellie's tattoo. Oh, it's not the whole tattoo. It's just the fern. It's just the fern from Ellie's tattoo. Quite nice, quite simple. They could have put the whole tattoo on there easily. Well, they've just gone for a nice simple design they've just gone for the fern coming around the corner there and this is what i said they could have done on here which i'm glad they haven't now because they've done it on the controller it's the gray controller silk gray and then they've got this gloss it's almost like it's not even paint it's almost like polished you've got this gloss fern coming around the corner there they've also got this gloss last of us part two on the trackpad and I absolutely love that. That is amazing. Let's just compare that to my PS4 Pro regular controller that I have. So this is my PS4 Pro controller. It's just a PS4 V2 controller. And it's black. It's pretty boring. The uh, buttons are in the PlayStation colors. And the PlayStation buttons gloss. The thumbsticks are black. 
and the little arrows around the track uh, d-pad are also black and uh, black 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 it's a very simple stylish design but compared to the last of us 2 controller you can see the nice differences this is a lot nicer on the eye a lot nicer to look at and for the price as well you know it's it's not like you're paying extortionate amount of money for just the controller because they sold the controller separately and i was really interested to see that because uh, i really want the death trending console i didn't get it but i i spent some money and i bought just the controller because i really liked the controller it was see-through uh, crystal yellow had death stranding across the trackpad this cost me i was lucky i managed to get it for about 65 pound but people were selling them for 100 pound i see even sold 120 pound this was like 55 pound on its own which is a regular playstation controller price the same as the console 350 that's what a ps4 pro costs as far as i know and it's really good when you see such beautiful collector's editions of like consoles and special editions that are the same price as the regular one the only thing you need is to be a fan of the game to fully enjoy it and i certainly am and this is just beautiful i'm happy to sell this with my old ps4 pro and replace it with this beautiful last of us 2 controller so absolutely amazing so that is the ps4 pro last of us 2 special edition console i'm absolutely in love with it i'm gonna have to go and transfer all my data on it i'm gonna have to install the 99 gigabyte game onto it before i can even start playing but i am raring to go and i hope you are all enjoying the last of us 2 as well have a wonderful weekend thank you very much for watching my video and stay tuned and we're going to be playing the whole game on the channel i'll see you later